Good morning, this is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. 19-year-old Victor Rios of Sioux Falls has been charged with attempted murder. He's accused of shooting a man after receiving marijuana and refusing to pay. The 24-year-old who was shot was conscious and able to talk to police at the hospital after being shot in the head. Along with Rios, three others have been charged with aiding and abetting attempted murder. You can find more details on the crime and the investigation in a Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton online now. After an unidentified vehicle tried to act as a woman's ride share, she's warning others of the danger. Heather Kane had ordered a lift Saturday night and was approached by a truck that had a light that resembled the lift emblem offering her a ride. When she found out it wasn't her lift or anyone else's, she reported the incident to police. And so those are the types of things that we're going to follow up on, try to figure out what was going on, why that person was trying to get a, a stranger into their car. You know, maybe it's nothing, maybe it's something, and, but we'd certainly investigate that. The police department says to make sure your driver and license plate match up with what your rideshare app says. A tornado ripped through the southwest Iowa town of Greenfield yesterday, killing several people and injuring others. It destroyed homes, businesses, trees, and smashed everything in its path. As you can see, much of the town was leveled by the storm. The town's hospital was also damaged. The same storm system also toppled several 250-foot wind turbines. Well, turning now to weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Much quieter day today, Scott. We are looking at mostly sunny skies for today. Temperatures will be comfortable. Numbers near 70 for afternoon highs. This will come with westerly winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. The western South Dakota will have stronger south winds of 15 to 25. We'll go skies becoming mostly sunny as we do have some cloud cover for the early part of the morning hours. More details on your Kettle Lane Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. Work is continuing at Jacobson Plaza near the Levitt in downtown Sioux Falls. Crews began laying the main line for the ice ribbon and will look to start the dog park, splash pad, and inclusive park later this summer. A local college student we talked to says the area should encourage people to get outdoors and enjoy. I think it'll bring more people outside. It'll also give more diversity around the Sioux Falls area. I feel like it'll make everything a little bit more accessible and easy for, for everyone to access. The project is expected to be completed in June of 2025. A Harrisburg business is helping one 26-year-old cover the cost for his service dog. Brandon Calderon was diagnosed in 2021 with a rare form of epilepsy. Recently, he was put on an expedited list for a service dog, which he'll get to meet next month. However, buying and training the dog costs almost $30,000. It's changed our whole lives. It's changed my whole life. And I, I mean, every day I'm scared. I don't want to start crying. But I'm scared going upstairs. He's going to not be alive. Smoke in Dakota Kenholz is helping the Calderons. On June 1st, they're hosting a, do a dock diving event. All benefits will go to Brandon's service dog fund. A link to a GoFundMe for Brandon is also available under this story right here on Kelloland.com. Thousands of viewers tuned in to watch Mallory the Mallard welcome her brood of ducklings this last Sunday. Kelloland Living host Mitchell Olson documented the trip Mallory and her ducklings took to get to the pond behind his home. Olson missed the hatchlings, uh, hatchings last year, so he made sure there to be there and welcome the brood this year. I was happy to be there for that, but I also was just so happy to be able to capture it, to be able to see it with my own eyes, to see her, to see the, the chicks jumping over the, the, the deck to their mom. I mean, it's so sweet, but uh, that's, that's how she intended it to go. So uh, I was, it was fun to be able to see it all. I'm so glad that I was here for it this year. Olson says he hopes Mallory returns next year to lay her eggs. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right. Well, a lot of wet weather for those ducks lately. And here comes some more. We've got another chance of thunderstorm activity tomorrow night. And right now, the Storm Prediction Center has put this out for portions of uh, southeastern and south-central South Dakota into uh, eastern Nebraska. And right now, 
Again, hail wind is your main threat here, but we'll watch those storms as they cross towards Sioux Falls, probably after 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So it's going to be a, a late evening type of an event here in portions of Southeast Kettleland. Here's a look at today's weather. We've got temperatures in and around 70 for high for many of us this afternoon and skies overall will be partly cloudy. Here's a look at tonight and uh, we're going to be expecting partly cloudy conditions. Not bad. Numbers in the 50s for many of us tomorrow morning and then a southerly wind will pick up during the day. So we'll warm up probably at least middle to upper 70s in the afternoon. Showers and storms. Now, a couple things to note here. We're looking at uh, the main line firing up on this trough, which is probably going to be on the western flank of that slight risk zone. So you can see that uh, right up and down the James Valley tends to light up tomorrow evening. And of course, the storms on the southern end of this will probably be strongest into Nebraska. And we want to make sure we acknowledge that because the early evening temps will be in the 70s. And then the front will move toward Interstate 29 probably late in the evening. Now, one thing about this map that's interesting is you'll notice the intensity of the red around Sioux Falls. So we could be looking at, you know, some decent thunderstorm activity. But do you see the snow up near Buffalo and into western North Dakota? Wow, it's getting kind of late on the calendar for that. But it is something that the weather service offices up in uh, North Dakota have acknowledged. At any rate, it looks like there will be some frosty weather at the end of this system up in that direction. We'll see if that affects northwest South Dakota. I think there is something there to watch. So just a little heads up for viewers in that direction. Today, we're quiet. We're near 70. Tomorrow, 78 Sioux Falls. Good chance of rain Thursday night, early Friday. The weekend probably starts dry, but we'll have to watch even as early as uh, Sunday morning. There's a pretty decent chance of rain across much of Iowa and Missouri, a system that might bypass us to the south, but I want to keep some rain chances in there. Monday, there's an upper level low that swings out into the plains, and that alone could just produce some overcast skies and maybe some showers. So I'd like to keep those temperatures kind of held down, and especially when you look at Aberdeen, your Saturday morning forecast. I have no problem with going upper 30s there, so... Uh, chilly, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted north central South Dakota. Pier, 59 on Friday. Again, it's going to be kind of windy, cool with those shower chances and even Rapid City. Not a warm start here on Friday, but maybe Saturday we try to recover to 73. But we're going to keep some rain chances off and on all the way through Monday. More details at Kettleland.com.